Welcome to the Review Journal's 32 and 32 series of NFL previews. Today's sports betting spotlight is on the Houston Texans. And I'm joined by handicapper Kelly Stewart at Kelly in Vegas, Wynn Sportsbook Director Johnny Avello. We're coming to you from the Wynn's beautiful, newly redesigned sportsbook on the Vegas Strip. Talk about the Texans, who went 9-7 and seven and lost in the divisional round to the playoffs last year despite an anemic offense and J.J. Watt missing most of the season. What do you guys anticipate with a healthy Watt back this year? You know, I think him and Clowney are going to have a really good season defensively, but that's not what I'm worried about with the Texans. I'm more worried about the other side of the ball. Dak Prescott is the first rookie quarterback I've been impressed with for years. So what am I expecting from Deshaun Watson? I don't really know. I don't know what we're going to see from this kid. Good thing Brock is gone, as much as I just talked about Brock Osweiler in the last video with the Browns. I, I don't think he was the right fit there. Hopefully Deshaun can do a better job. I see this team finishing second in the AFC South. I think they may give the Texans a little run for their money, but uh, it's hard. It's hard for me to get a good read. Like I said, I think they're going to have a good defense, but offensively, I don't know how much more we're going to see from them than we saw last year. Well, you mentioned 30 to, the playoff loss 30 to nothing, and I remember Brian Hoyer saying after the game, I learned a lot. We'll see you next year, but we will see you next year. <laughs> see you later. So who do we start? We, I think we have uh, with Tom Savage, right? He'll be maybe the starting quarterback, but mm -hmm. I think the Sean Watson's going to get a lot of playing time. I mean, I think they have another. They have Brandon Weed in there also, but I think you have to give Deshaun Watson a chance. They added Dante Foreman from Texas to the backfield of Lamar Miller, but they lost Will Fuller, their deep threat. Their win total is eight and a half here at the win. What do you think, Kelly? Over or under? We're just talking about it. it. He's right. It's this weird thing. It could be eight, nine games. Ah, I'm not in love with this Texans team, but I'm not really in love with the AFC South. So I guess we'll have to see, like you said, one team at least gets in, but it's probably going to be the Titans. I agree. I'm going for the Texans to win eight games, finish eight and eight, and go under their win total. That's the spotlight on the Houston Texans.